I think like, okay, the books, you know, even in the books, well, how many, had all the books come out when the movies were being made? No. no. So everyone's fate of their character wasn't even Right, decided. because if you knew that you ended up with Harry at the end, like if you knew it from the beginning, you'd be like, well, they've got to. I mean, this is a part that has to keep going. But you didn't know that. How many books were out by this time? I think there were four or three, definitely three, maybe four. And But no one told you what was no, going to happen. no didn't know so yeah i mean every time a book came out you know I'm, i was there at the bookstore the day it came out like everyone else like reading it and it was always hard because i you know i loved the world i loved the story i loved the book but of course you're not not going to be reading the book and every time Ginny pops up you're going to be like oh what's she doing kind of thing so it was always quite a disjointed reading experience because you kind of were reading it like for the story and the wider narrative and yeah. then also just projecting oh gosh i might have to do this now in in the film and when, yeah, when, but when did you know that, like, did they tell you after the first one that you're coming back? Um, yeah, I think um, the first, I think so. I think they knew they were going to make t two. I think that, I can't even remember now, but I think they knew they were going to make two and kind of like made everyone commit to the two. But then for a lot of the films, it was just like, they kind of committed just one at a time. And then I think by the fourth or fifth one, it was like, okay, everyone, you got to commit to the end now. Like you're either in it or not, which I get if they didn't want someone being, you know, that character and everyone associating that actor with that character and then suddenly not completing the full, you know, eight films. So, so yeah, I mean, I think it was pretty obvious that they were going to make them all and they were very successful. So. Yeah. Did you, uh, was, did you remember anyone ever getting fired or was supposed to play a part and then they didn't? continue it and someone else can besides obviously you know richard harris passed away mm -hmm. and so michael gambone yeah took played. over hey there folks it's michael rosenbaum and boy have i got a huge announcement for you this has been a long time coming and it's finally here i'm doing a live podcast my podcast inside of you with michael rosenbaum is going live yeah for the first time ever on wednesday october 11th at the iconic regent in Los Angeles. And guess what? I'm not going to be alone. Um, we're bringing a guest you might remember. He's been on the podcast. He's a friend of the show. The one, the only, Zachary Levi. We're going to catch up on life and mental health. And we're going to have a really good time with all of you. I think you know that. We're going to make it a lot of fun. We're planning a Q&A, maybe some fun games, other exclusive stuff you're only going to get by seeing it live. We're even hosting a VIP meet and greet for a small number of people before the show begins. Grab your tickets, mark your calendars, and get ready for the night of laughs, insights, and unforgettable moments. Tickets are limited, so don't miss your chance to join us on October 11th at The Regent in Los Angeles. Get your tickets now at insideofyoulive.com. This is going to be an epic night, so if you're in the area, come out and I'll see you there. Um, not that I remember. Um, you weren't privy to that. I wasn't privy to that, <laughs> but there wasn't anyone, you know, who came and then they sort of disappeared. Um, that I was aware of, right? Unless they were very good at, you know, hiding. Their yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you, 